hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make an amazing head growth butter moisturizer if you enjoyed this video please make sure to give me a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe i start by placing a bowl in a pot of hot water and then i add half cup of olive oil to the bowl olive oil stimulates hair growth it prevents hair loss next i add half cup of castor oil castor oil promotes hair growth and thickens the hair the third oil i'm going to be adding is coconut oil coconut oil moisturizes the hair and stimulates hair growth and then i use a wooden spoon to mix the oils together well next i'm going to be adding half cup of moringa powder to the oils moringa stimulates hair growth and nourishes the hair the next ingredient i'm going to be adding is fenugreek powder i add one third cup of fenugreek powder to the bowl I'm going to be adding one third cup of amla powder to the bowl. Amla stimulates hair growth. It adds shine to the hair, treat dandruff, and conditions the hair. I'm using a wooden spoon to mix the oils and powders together. Lastly, I'm going to be adding chopped aloe vera to the oils. Aloe vera reduces buildup on the scalp, it stimulates hair growth, it moisturizes the scalp, reduces hair thinning. Once I am done adding the aloe vera, I allow the oil to sit on the stove for 30 to 45 minutes. After 30 minutes, I turn off the stove and allow the oil to cool down. This is how it looks. While the oil is cooling down, I start by adding one cup of mango butter to a bowl. Mango butter contains vitamin A and C, which helps to promote healthy hair growth and helps to prevent hair breakage. The second butter I'm going to be adding is shea butter. Shea butter seals in moisture. It promotes hair growth guys if you don't have mango butter you can use only shea butter use what you have next i place the butters in a bowl of hot water and allow the butters to melt down i use a spoon to speed up the process just in case you are wondering where i bought the shea butter and mango butter I bought the shea butter from an African market and the mango butter from Amazon. This is how the butters look after a few minutes. I'm going to be adding one tablespoon of Jamaican black castor oil to the butters and place in the refrigerator for 30 to 45 minutes. While the butter mixture is in the refrigerator, I'm going to screen out the oil. I suggest that you use cheesecloth for this step. I didn't have one, so that is the reason why I'm using a wig cap, but next time I'm going to get one. If you are watching this video and you are not yet subscribed, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. This is how the oil looks. After 30 minutes, I take out the butters from the refrigerator and then I add the oil to the butter. I use a wooden spoon to mix the oil and the butters together well. And then I'm going to be placing the mixture in the refrigerator for another 30 minutes. This is how the oil and butter mixture looks after 30 minutes of being in the refrigerator. 
I transfer the mixture to a mixing bowl. And then I use a hand mixer to mix the butters and oil mixture together well. If you don't have hand mixer, you can just use a spoon. You don't have to stress yourself out trying to get hand mixer. I'm adding 10 to 12 drops of lavender oil. You can add any essential oils of your choice. I prefer lavender oil because it smells amazing. This is how the butter look when I'm done mixing with my hair mixer. I transfer the butter to an empty jar. This is how the butter looks and is ready to use. To apply the butter, I start by spraying one section of my hair with my fenugreek and aloe vera leave-in conditioner. I already have a video on how I make the fenugreek and aloe vera leave-in conditioner. I will leave the link down below. I use my fingers to lightly finger detangle my hair Next, I'm going to apply the butter to that same section. Guys, this butter is so moisturizing. I'm applying some of the butter to my ends. This butter can be applied to the hair two times a week and it can also be applied as a deep conditioner treatment. I'm using my white tooth comb to make sure that my hair is detangled properly and then I braid that section. I'm repeating the same process to this next section. I first start by spraying my fenugreek and aloe vera leave-in conditioner. Lightly finger detangle. I'm applying the butter to that section. This butter moisturizes and seal in moisture to the hair. It keeps the hair moisturized for days. I'm using my white tooth comb, making sure that my hair is detangled properly. And then I braid that section. I'm just going to speed up the process for this last step and allow you guys to watch and see how I apply the butter to my hair.
this is how my hair looks once i am done applying the products so guys that is the end of this video if you enjoyed this video please make sure to give me a thumbs up comment down below any question you have for me and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you will get notified whenever i post a new video i will see you guys in my next one bye guys